All right, so Webflow has recently announced upcoming changes to their pricing and products, leaving some in the community feeling a bit confused. So in this video, I'll break it all down using three easy to follow scenarios. One, a medium sized company that needs support from a Webflow freelancer. Two, a solo freelancer building websites for small businesses. And three, a small business owner creating a website on their own. But before we dive into these scenarios, let me give you a brief overview of what Webflow is aiming to achieve with these pricing updates. So Webflow's goal is to make workspace plans more flexible, accommodating different company sizes and the various roles within each team. To do this, Webflow is separating user limits from workspace plans. Here's an example. Currently, if you sign up for an agency workspace, it starts with one seat and you can add up to seven more for a maximum of eight seats. If you need more, you'll have to upgrade to an enterprise plan. Each additional seat costs $42 a month. While simple, this model doesn't offer much customization for different roles. Like not everyone on a team needs full access to design or develop a website. Some only need to edit content or provide feedback. This is where the new tiered seat pricing comes in. Instead of every seat costing the same, pricing now depends on the level of access and permissions each team member needs. For admins, developers, or designers who need complete access, Seats cost $45 a month under the full tier plan. For team members who only need to add, edit, or delete content, seats cost $19 a month under the limited tier. And for reviewers who just need to view designs and leave comments, these seats are free under the free tier. If this feels a bit complicated, don't worry. I'll walk you through it with real world examples. All right, so I'm going to explain these scenarios with my Lego minifigs. All right, so for this first scenario, let's pretend that we are Lego Benny and we are part of a software company that has a marketing team within it. All right, so for my team, I would purchase a growth plan for $60 a month, and this comes with a seat for myself. Right, so I have full admin access, it's $60 a month, but in my team, I have a web designer. I have a creative director and two content strategists, okay? So for each team member, they would need different, uh, different types of seats. So for the web designer, they would need all the bells and whistles of Webflow. So they would need the full tiered seat and that costs an additional $45 a month. For the creative director, this person is only reviewing content, reviewing uh, that everything is within brand guidelines, reviewing the site design in general. So this person wouldn't need all the features of Webflow. They would just need to make comments and whatnot. So that is a free seat right there. For the two content strategists, they're adding, editing, deleting content within the Webflow CMS, the collections, the static pages and whatnot. So each of these two seats are $19 a month. That's the limited seat tier. So that's the full, that's the free, and these two uh, each are the limited. So for this full team right here of five, it costs $143 a month with the new pricing. Compare that to the previous pricing where no matter what position uh, or permissions these people need, each seat cost the same of $60 a month. So a team of five would cost in the old plans, $300 a month, whereas this new one is $143 a month. Now say this team, this marketing team still needs additional help from a Webflow freelancer. Well, they can hire a Webflow freelancer and add them to their workspace. And let's use this person right here. They come in right here, helping the team, and that's no additional cost because the growth plan that Benny bought already comes with up to two freelancer guest seats. So your team could be this big and it'll still cost $143 a month for that workspace plan. All right, scenario number two, let's pretend that we are the orange astronaut and we are a solo Webflow freelancer. 
and we need our own freelancer workspace, which costs $24 a month. And we mainly work with small business owners. And so a small business owner comes up to us, we land the deal, and we quickly spin up a new Webflow project. And so that's what this is. This is a Webflow project. And before, if you wanted help from your client to start adding in content into, into the collections or on static pages, you would have to add a CMS site plan to that project to invite them, right? Well, this is no longer the case because whenever you spin up a new project, you can immediately invite your client for no additional cost. And that is what the new client seat is under the freelance and agency workspace plans, right? So you can create a new project, uh, add, invite your, your client to it, spin up another project, invite your client to it, and there you go. All of this would still cost $24 a month under the uh, freelancer workspace plan, right? So this solves that problem of like having to add a CMS site plan to all three of these on top of your freelancer workspace plan. And if you're on the agency work plan, you get three seats per project for your clients. So it can look like this under the agency workspace plan, but it won't cost anything additional. And lastly, the simplest scenario, number three, let's imagine that you are a small business owner or stormtrooper, and all you need to do is build a website for your own small company, or you're someone who's just now learning Webflow and you wanna build a portfolio. So all you would need to do is spin up a website, and that's it because you're already on the starter workspace plan, which is free, and you can create a new website. And once you're ready to go live with your site, just add a site plan to that. And that's it. All these seat tiers, these client seats, these free limited full seats, don't worry about it. Don't look at it. You don't need it, all right? So nothing has changed for you. And lastly, with all of these workspace plans, you can add as many seats as you need without ever having to talk to the enterprise team. You don't need any of the, if you don't need any enterprise level service, then you can add say 100 re reviewers. You can add everyone here <laughs> to that single uh, space as a reviewer for free. So no additional costs on top of whatever you're already paying for for your workspace. All right, so hopefully this helps. I hope this breakdown helps clear up any confusions about Webflow's pricing updates. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit. If you have any questions or feedback or think I missed an important point, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for making the web beautiful together. See ya.